This tutorial is going to show you um, some of the basic editing tools within Google Slides. Uh, we'll show you how to add text, add photos and shapes, um, and to do some basic formatting things. So the first thing you would have done, again, is gone to um, slides.google.com. You would have logged in with your WCPS username and password. Once you log in, again, it's going to bring you to um, all of the slide shows that you have created or that have been shared with you. I'm going to choose the sample one that I started earlier. So at this point, um, my theme is a basic blue and simple kind of one. If I wanted to change my theme again, I would click theme at the top and um, make my selection on the right. Now this particular theme has a space on the first page for a title and a subtitle. So in order to edit those you would simply click in the box and type in your title, click in the box and type in your subtitle. Now let's say that you didn't want to have a subtitle. All you have to do is right click on this box and you can cut it out and that will completely get rid of it. Now if you wanted to edit the font and such of your title, simply highlight it and go to format. This is where you're going to find features much like that of Microsoft uh, Word. Um, you can bold, italics, underline, all of these different features. You can change the font size, the color, you can even change this, the line spacing, the paragraph styles, all of those things. Now, once your title is done and you're ready to work on a new slide, you can just click on the left. Um, so this one has the same sort of formatting as the slide before. Um, let's say I didn't want this slide. All I have to do is press delete and it's going to get rid of it completely. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of them and I'm going to start with a new slide. Um, so let's say for this slide that all I really wanted to do was have an image. Again, if I click on the text boxes, I can write Oops, excuse me. If I right click on the text box, I can cut it out and get rid of it completely. Now, let's say I wanted to insert um, an image that I have saved on my computer. I would go to insert and then I can go to image. Now I can browse any of the images that I have saved anywhere on my computer. Now I can move the image around, put it at different spots on the slide, that kind of thing. Um, so if I decided that I wanted to add text now to this slide, um, all I would have to do is go to insert text box and then that's going to allow me to click and drag to create a text box. Um, so maybe I would type, um, this is an example uh, geez, of an arts integration lesson. I taught this week. Okay, again, to format the text, I would highlight it, go through the formatting at the top. If you right click in the text box, you can um, change some things with it. So you can change the order, like you could send it to the front or back if it were on top of an image. You can rotate it, you can have it centered on the page. Oops. Okay, um, Google Slides also has images and clip art, much like you would find in Microsoft Word. So again, if you want to go to um, Insert and to Image, then along the top you'll have some different choices. So you could actually take a snapshot. That would be, um, you would want to allow this when Adobe comes up. Um, I'm going to allow, okay. Um, and you so you could actually take a screenshot of you at the time. You can search by URL if you wanted to find um, something on the web. You can search your albums, so anything that you have posted um, in your Google Photos. You can also do a Google Drive search, so you can find things from your actual drive, so documents and other things that you have there. And lastly, you can do a search. So you can search Google um, for anything. So maybe I wanted a butterfly, um, and it'll come up with all different kinds of images. Select one, and there it comes into your slide. 
So as you can see here at the top, there's something called image options. If you click on that, you can do some different things to the photo, changing the brightness, um, the contrast, and things like that. One of the cool features um, that you can do as well is um, to increase or decrease the transparency of a photo. So this can be kind of cool if you want to um, put something like use a photo like as the background of a slide or of a text box. So if I clicked on this again, go to image options and change my transparency, I can make it so that it's barely visible and then I could actually move my text box to be on top of it so it kind of gives a background for it and that's just one of the fun things that you can do um, we could really spend hours or I could spend hours showing you the different editing format features that Google Slides has again it's very very much like what you would find in Microsoft Word and the easiest thing is really just to get in there and mess with it and understand that you can make a Google slide presentation as fancy or as plain as you want it to be the next tutorial is going to give you a little bit of information about just a few of the advanced features for formatting, about adding some flash to your presentation. Um, so look for that next.